Hello YouTube, welcome to Motorcycling with Carl. Today I'm going to be doing the install of the Sangmo 180 degrees motorcycle helmet rack that I bought. I actually bought a package that came with two. The cost of it for me was around $32.99. I know that's the current price on Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description to this product and when you go there if you look there's a lot of different options different colors um, you can buy quantities one two three at a time I think for a single it's $17.99 for a two pack it's $32.99 and for a three pack currently it's $44.99 so I'm very happy to get these because uh, my motorcycle helmets, I leave them on my, my work table, I put them down somewhere, hang them on the bike. They take up a lot of room, so it's going to be nice to get them up and off of stuff. Because especially the built helmet, uh, my spot, I'm going to make sure it's right near an outlet because the built helmet needs to be charged because it has the built-in uh, Bluetooth headset. So. I'm lucky in my garage, uh, when they built it, they put plywood behind all of the drywall in here. So I could screw them anywhere I want and they're gonna stick. Um, I recommend personally, if you're gonna put them up, I would fasten them directly to a stud. That's always the most secure thing. But if not, I wouldn't use the, uh, the hardware they give you with the little mollies into the sheetrock, if you have to. I would use a zip it or a little toggle bolt or something to secure it better. Because after time, especially hanging stuff on and off of it, those mollies will just pull out of the sheetrock. So make sure you do your job right and uh, fasten it either to a stud or use a really good fastener. All right, so I'm gonna get into the install here. Be right back. All right, so here is the stuff out of the box. You got your two br uh, wall brackets. These have to screw on the balls, and they're they're a little larger, so it's nice. So they sit up in your helmet and don't like put a dig mark in one spot. Um, these are, like I said, these are the mollies they give you. They're really junk, so I advise not using those, okay? Um, and the tools we're gonna need, I have my, my drill here. I got four of my own screws, a pencil, a level, and a tape measure. All right, so you wanna do everything nice and neat and level everything up, so. All right, here we go, gonna start installing. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna screw these heads on the, on the mount. I'm only gonna hand tighten them. I don't think you need to really wrench them. Although there is a, a bolt there, but I wouldn't do it because they're only aluminum. All right. So, there it is. That's the whole mount. I want to figure out, kind of, I'm going to use the outlet as my center point. These pivot either way. I want to see if I have that there. Just approximately, my helmet would rest like, like that. So, I'm going to say that's, it's pretty good. Maybe I'll go a little higher, a little closer. So that is probably a decent height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that that is a decent height. All right. So I'm going to put a little mark here. Okay. And what I'm going to do at this point grab my tape measure and I'm going to come from the center of the outlet over I'm at about 10 inches so I'm going to take go this way 10 inches well first I'll get the height let's get the height 
off the ground. I have a little bump up here, so I'm, I'm putting mine at 59 off the bump up. That's the top screw hole. All right, so. 59. I mean, I could get real precise with the level if I want. I could, I could bring it up here. And say that's about center. Put a little tiny mark. And I'll say 10 inches. 10 inches is actually over here. Ten inches. Ten inches. And then we go 59. Boom, boom, take my eraser to this one. Oh, what a big mess. Okay, so now I have the marks for my upper screws on both of them. So what I'll do is we'll take this. That mark is the upper screw. And then I will put my level on this. Make sure she's nice and level. Then I can put the second screw in. Okay, there's one. Now I'll come over on the second one here. Move that out of the way. Right on the crosshairs. Got the screw in. We're gonna put a level on it. I got my light shutting off here. Let's see if we get that to turn back on. Okay, that's level. Now I'll put the second screw in the bottom. Beautiful. All right. So, looking at this, this arm looks a little bent compared to this one. Mm, straighten it out a little. All right, let me take my Harley helmet first. Make sure that that's nice and the cover has the latch on it. So, I'll make sure it's nice and open. All right, we'll put the logo there. And then I'll take my built helmet. Make sure this is opened enough. Drawstrings can't be pulled really tight or else it don't fit. We'll hang that right up there. That is beautiful. Give me one minute, I'll be right back. All right, so there's the finished product. I'm very happy for $32.99, can't beat it. I hung them up differently the first time, but then I realized because the chargers on this side of the helmet comes down and plugs right into the outlet there. Uh, very nice to have a place to hang the helmets instead of putting them on the workbench, hanging them on the bikes. It's nice that they have a home. All right, so that's gonna do it for this install video. Feels really good to be back. Gonna have a great 2023. And like I said, I am gonna do, I'll do a video at some point here and I'll tell you where I've been, what I've been doing, what I've been up to, what's coming up. Um, I'm looking forward to the 2023 riding season. So until next time, this is Carl saying laugh a lot, be nice, and stay safe. Ba-bam.